What has changed, particularly in recent decades, is our ability to build very large radio telescopes compared to the ones we used to have by building arrays like the Allen Telescope Array in which we duplicate the performance of a very large single telescope by using many small telescopes joined together through computer technology. The cosmic haystack, as we call it, has room for literally millions of channels. And so we need instruments that can search millions, or in fact, hundreds of millions of frequency channels at once. And that is what we have now. So what's this really unusual looking device? It's it's a piece of the Allen Telescope Array. It's the feed and the receiver. It actually lives inside the telescope. And it's like the antenna on your car, picking up radio waves. Except that this antenna has very long pieces and very short pieces. And that means that it can pick up radio waves over a very wide range of frequencies. As innovative as this is, we're about to make it even better. We'll cut it off here, put it all in a big glass bottle that we can evacuate and cool down. And then this receiver and feed will work to higher frequencies and over all of the frequencies, because it's now all cold, it will give us much more sensitive reception than we have today. So an improvement in this piece of the antenna is like building a lot more antennas. Our ability to upgrade all of the feeds and receivers on the 42 antennas of the Allen Telescope Array is thanks to an enormously generous donation by Franklin Antonio. And so in honor of Mr. Antonio, the new feeds will be called Antonio feeds and it will allow us to explore frequencies we've not yet had access to and be able to detect signals that are far fainter than the ones we can detect now.